I thought that was crazy. I put in my handle for my YouTube, Mr. Underscore O H underscore W O W. And I put it in this site. Now this site can create art. And um, that's the whole website. If you can read it, let's see. W H H T S hotspot dot a i dot s dot art now that's it's gonna come here so i think you stop up here somewhere uh, before the generator you know or hit the home button once you get there but i put in mr a wow and it created this now that looks like a woman figure so how did it get a woman out of mr a wow <laughs> hmm I don't look. You think I look something like me? It's got my pointy nose. My lips don't look like that, though. <laughs> yeah, I think you can use this thing to create T-shirts and all kind of stuff, banners. Well, the one, uh, so far, you can't change your, you can't change your thumbnails on shorts, uh, what it's telling me. I don't know if that's true or not, but I had chicken. I had ate some chicken today and I called it like fried chicken. And I was going to put this picture that the AI generated. And uh, this picture, it put a lot of other types of stuff together, but I don't see that picture. And I I said, uh, you know, like two or three things ago, you can look when a dime, you know, a dime matters or something like that. And I got this picture and I generated it off this AI site. Now this one has, you can see it. That's a little bit different, but it's um, it's an AI generator. So this is totally new. I feel like, I feel like somebody that went from a beta VH test tape to um, the Blu-ray disc. So AI, you know, computer coding, that is finally the next frontier that's kind of going you know, but um, the the advantage is even my generation and the newer generations, they'll write programs to help us understand what they're doing. So you won't have to figure it out. Just like you won't have to learn how to speak another language. You can have somebody do that for you or you can have AI do it. So I seen something somewhere and they're talking about is AI ethical because it's starting to draw pictures better than humans are faster and it's crystal clear but they're taking images they see all over the place and compiling it together they got the whole internet you know and there's so much data being loaded up on the internet every day and they're gonna have to have ai figure out how to manipulate the data they used to have jobs where they had data analysts would go in there and figure out what it is and then they come up with programs and let the ceos do it but there's so much data, you know, there's so much data and they, they figure they can manipulate everything by the data before you get this chip in your head where they can just read the automatic <laughs> or they can put ideas in here. Go buy the sugar, go buy the sugar. You know, I'm surprised they're not doing that with frequency going in the air telling us what to do. But the thing about AI, um, I think the ethical question, somebody did this G chat. I haven't used a lot of AI, but not, I guess we have, we use AI all the time when, um, especially like Siri, give me the directions. Siri, what's the next restaurant? So we do, we use AI all the time for directions, you know, comparing things, how to spell things, looking up our address. So we use it all the time, but far as the applications that are coming to play far as, um, I think it's called G chat. Well, you've probably seen it, and now they're talking about, should you use it? Should you not use it? So some of these things might, you got to be leery and check it out before you start using it. Uh, so far, I don't see how this one could be bad. The one I'm talking about, I just searched it, and it only gives you five pictures a day. It gives you like a little box to type in kind of what you want. And then it'll uh, give it to you. And it has a thing to upgrade where you can pay for it. And I guess it works a lot better. You know, um, I don't understand how 
the pavement system, but just the free stuff creates pretty good pictures, you know? And, um, see if I could, I had a thing where I could download and make the thing move. So that would be cool to make the AI picture move with my voice. So I don't know if I can do that or not. We'll see. Uh, to make the picture move at, I'd feel better if I had a front facing picture like this instead of a side view. But we'll see. You might play around with AI and you could just create something that hadn't been created before. You know, I, my mind's like that anyway. I don't know if anybody thinks like me because, you know, when um, they say you need to do a niche and all that, and then other people say, well, you need to do things and you'll find your niche. And that's kind of true. You know, after three years, I started posting food videos on the shorts. So people like that. Well, they'll start posting puppies. Well, if I post long content, a lot of people don't watch it. You know, but some people do. The people that like the long content, but it's it's fewer because it it's long. <laughs> but this AI is pretty cool, man. It's uh, I'm gonna play around with it. You know, um, I'm a little slow at learning all this new technology and all. If if I ever do start making money, I want to start putting all my videos if I can. I want to put them all in like Mr. Beast is doing putting them all in different languages in different parts of the world. Cause I think he said it or somebody said it only 15% of the world's population speaks English. So if you put it in other languages and I think he did it because other people were starting to copy his videos and real cheap and they were blowing up in those countries. So I think that's why he started putting those videos in the countries. I mean, that's one aspect you know, he was losing uh, market share, I guess. But well, Mr. Beast is a genius, you know. He uh, just recently, he wouldn't sell his company for, you know, somebody offered him a billion dollars. And he said he'd take about 10. But shoot, <laughs> a billion dollars. I, I know I'm not near there yet, but if somebody offered me now, I might. But maybe a billion dollars, I probably would <laughs> right now. But if I get big like him, probably not. Because, you know, it's your baby. It's like a child. It's your legacy. So, uh, you know, he is super focused and very smart at what he's doing. And he knows YouTube. So, uh, that is awesome, man. That is awesome. But, you know, it's a blessing. Even though I'm out of work right now, it's a blessing. And I get to make all kind of YouTube. And it doesn't cost me anything i i don't have to drive anywhere and i can share it with the world you know mr well and ai so you never know at one time they had a thing where you could put your had a contest they'd give you a hundred thousand dollars so I'm, probably wouldn't have been able to use my face i think it was a hundred thousand but if they used your face in this contest they would give you that money and they would put it on all these robots so I, I don't know if the robots were in Europe, but, it, you know, anytime you go to customer service and you have a robot there, you'd have a human image and that's what they'd look at. It looked like a person, but that person would lose the right to use their face. But I, I don't know if it was just in that application or everywhere, but I didn't win, so I didn't find out. But yeah, man, AI is, AI is increasing and... <laughs> I'd say within probably when cars start driving themselves and they're driving everywhere, not just little test areas, eventually we're going to get to where we can't tell AI and human apart, but the AI will probably be so much sharper <laughs> that people will be going to the AI art gallery and watching AI television because it'll be like 8K compared to analog TV. And it'd be just so much, so much more that you won't be able to compete with it. And eventually, human creativity have to be really good or it would be mixed with AI in order to be competitive. So people have to adapt more technology to stay competitive. And there's no telling what it'll create. But yeah, I just wanted to share that I was using this uh, AI. I got all excited about it. 
and made these pictures. But yeah, for the life of me, I can't, I can't believe that it has this, you know, that is crazy, man. I don't think it looks anything like me. You know, what do you think? That's Mr. Oh wow, the picture. The nose is smaller. <laughs> red hair though. And it got red hair on top. I don't have any hair on top, so who knows? Looks prettier me. <laughs> AI. And this is just a free version. Ain't no telling what a real version would do. But yeah, I looked up my handle. Handle on the computer and it pulls up my YouTube channel. So that's pretty cool. So we'll see. I figured that's what they would do. But I don't know. They just... Maybe the words. I don't even know if they use the YouTube. So I had to try it again and see if I can... If I put maybe the website, what did it do? We'll try that. I put Mr. A while, my handle from YouTube, and it come up with the lady. Now I put the website that goes straight to my page, and this is what come up. So that is crazy. I have no idea what it's doing. All right, this time I've said picture of Mr. A while, creator from YouTube. Now we'll go here to create and see what pops up. It should pop up right here. It's kind of fun though. See what happens. Good gracious. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Is that a bird or a fish? That is wild, man. I have no idea. Well, if I have a choice of being a brand new bird born eating a bone or a French looking aristocrat from the 1400s, I'll take the first one. They're just Mr. Wild instead of that. So, you know, it's got some kinks in it and you probably got to know how to ask. Probably had to ask Sophie the robot. But yeah, I just play with this and, uh, you know, there ain't no telling what somebody could create if they knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> you know, but thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and good luck dealing with AI. You know, it's like, uh, hey, that, are those discs safe? You know, you just imagine how much stuff's going to change. And it's changing faster and faster. But we'll talk to y'all later. Have fun.